Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Roberta at the Knotted Fairy. Got another haul video for you guys today. Um, went a little crazy. We went out of town, so we went to Georgia and Tennessee. So there was a lot of estate sales, a lot of thrift stores. So of course I had to check them all out. Um, this might be a long video. I might do it in two separate videos. I think maybe I'll just do a book video first. So this will be like the book haul and then we'll move on to the other stuff. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I found was the little miniature Beatrix Potter. So if I see Beatrix Potter, I always get her little books and these are they're not that old, I believe they're from 1990. But they're always fun. The pictures are already a small little size. Yeah, so 1990. I'm not sure, I might have quite a few Beatrix Potters, so I might list this in my Etsy shop, I'm not sure. Some of the stuff is already, that you'll see might already be listed. But, there's those, so that one, and then the tail of squirrel nutkin. And of course, Benjamin Bunny. There's those. And then it's also some Winnie the Pooh. It's the same thing with little books, but I love Pooh when he's in the old, drawn in the older way. 1990 as well so those will be fun to use so this is some bees excuse the dog barking I don't know what's going on then I found a Stuart Little so I'm not sure I use the one it says there but I believe it's from 1945 Once again, just fun pages to use. I have these two massive books. So these are all the National Geographic magazines for 1975. So the first volume is January through June and then July through December. So, and all it is is literally just the magazines found. So these will be listed in my Etsy shop. I'm not keeping these ones. I did get them just for that because I have quite a few National Geographic. So if you're interested in them, they might not be up at the time of the video. I'll have to see if I can get working on them. I'm trying to have things listed as I do the videos. Yeah, it's every month of the National Geographic. So there's lots of fun things that you can use in journals, or if you just happen to be a collector. So that's fun. So it's the January to June, and then the July to December. National Geographics. Oh, that'll be fun to use. Right, those. I found this one. It's just the first ladies. I don't think it was very old, but yeah, nineteen ninety nine. I like to use the old pictures, the old portraits. So I just thought it would be fun. I think it goes all the way up to, oh, to Hillary. Go back for the older ones. Just 
fun little portraits to use. And then there. Next we have the Women's Day Encyclopedia of Cookery. So it's volume seven and volume eight. These are from 1966. You can see that. So, I apologize if there's any glare. I'm trying a new table camera here. Let's see how it works. But this are fun cookbooks. They're fun to use. The recipes as tags, and this is kind of like a perfect tag size on each one. These pictures are be super fun to use. And journals. So once again, I might keep one, and then the other one might be listed in the in my Etsy shop. Those pictures. Next we have a book on roses. Oh, got some more extras in it here. This one is I don't think it was very 1971. And that was just of course beautiful pictures of roses and kind of the history of roses and their symbolism and history. And then you get to little pictures and then these ones will be really fun to use. Tag, faux tea cards. Golden Book of America. So this one is really fun. I'm not sure this one was 1957. So this one has lots of fun pictures, pages to use. More. Look here. Right, I'm in the front, but it just kind of goes through. of America. Or these pictures in the back that I thought would be fun to use. The old posters and to use as pockets, tags. We'll finish up with the poster theme. So, this is MGM posters. I don't think it is that old, but it has all the vintage studio posters in it. It was 1998, but I just thought these would make cool charms. So back it on some cardstock and make charms. And it's just literally all the old movie posters. Through the years. It kind of starts in the 1920s. I guess I'm like, see, wouldn't that be a beautiful, make a nice little charm. glossy but that's okay. Turn off the wind. Another fun one. Do we have the American
American Women's Cookbook. This one's really nice. It's from 1948. And I love the little indented pages. So fun. Dripping. It has little color pictures throughout. So those would be fun to use. Another fun little cookbook. Something to use in a journal. Next. And we got the engineering or engineering drawing. So this one, not in the best shape. That was 1948 or 1941. So, I just thought the pages were really fun. So there's rips and not in the best. It was deep down in, I think, someone's garage up in the state sale in North Carolina. So, I thought those are really fun pages to use in a journal. Just some of these drawings. We have two volumes of the American Educator Encyclopedia. So there's volume three and <coughs> excuse me, volume three and volume four. So we'll start with volume. We'll start with volume four because this one is listed in my Etsy shop already. So and then from 1949. They really are just really neat encyclopedias. Got lots of maps, black and white photos, pretty much on most pages. And then there's also quite a few colored plates or colored illustrations throughout this past one. So like that, this one's got the flowers in it, so that's beautiful so that'd be a really fun page to use and then it's also you know on the back one side's blank and there's actually another one on the flowers animals eat maps that one and that was equinox to heliograph and then we have volume three chronological to equinoctical and same same concept this one i don't think had as many colored photos Really fun pages to use. The dodo bird. Oh, that's really neat. Like dragonfly, bank draft. the books books and then I found a whole collection it's called our country diary so it's like a planner so there's from 91 to up to 2008 but these I 
I just wanted to say they were too cute to be cutting out the pictures, the pages, or just using the whole pages, coffee dyeing them and using the pages in a journal. They are just adorable. <laughs> I have never seen this. Awesome. It does have some writing in it, but it's getting a perm. They're so like Victorian, so old fashioned, really cute even. Like I said before, making a mountain, making it a faux tea card. And that was 2005, 2002. And this one's like a, instead of such a white page, it's already kind of like an ivory colored for the pages. concept. Uh -huh. Adorable are those. to the beach. Huh. So 2007 they started to get a little bit glossier on their papers but still fun. They're all kind of the same concept. I'll give a quick flip of the other two just because I already did that one. So then you got 2008. And one. This one's got another one of the like ivory paper. Right, let's see where we're at for time. 18 minutes. We might be able to get through. Make it only a 30 minute. And then, so then next, I found these. Little sticker books, so Victorian sticker books. So it's just four pages of beautiful pictures, beautiful little stickers. Ladies, look at them. And then this one is gift labels, so Victorian children. So wouldn't that be fun to use as a book plate? And then the Easter's. Oh, the girls are so adorable. So the bunnies. And they're not very, there's only a few that are just like, you know, as for Easter. So and these are just bunnies, the little kids holding bunnies, not necessarily only used for Easter, so. And then this one's just garden flowers and stickers. This one didn't have, quite a few are gone, but. Still neat. So, got all those books out the way. Um, where should we go next? I guess we'll go to wrapping paper. I think I have an obsession with wrapping paper, but. No. Love to use it. I think it's fun. So I got you saw that one. So that was just little flowers, just cute. This one I got because I wanted to cut out more than use it as it is, but I thought I could cut out the little Victorian images and use them. I thought that would be fun. Two sheets of that. 
And then one, just these little birdies. I just thought they were cute. And then this is a wrapping paper as well, but you see that, how can you not get it? It's so pretty. Be nice as an end paper or even as a cover. This is really thick. It almost feels like a wallpaper, but it's wrapping paper because it came with matching tissue paper. Isn't that fun? So tissue paper is also fun to use. These other tissue papers. They didn't have the matching wrapping paper with them, but so it's like an Egyptian tissue paper. Flowers. Nice wrapping paper, but it's like craft paper. So I like to take the craft paper or paper bags and make it into leather, like faux leather. So I thought this would be fun to do with the faux leather and then have the background of the elephants on there. Excuse the dog. Then there was this one, I'm not gonna open all of them, but. So there's this one. Just keeps me one second. And then there's this one. Just another pretty wrapping paper. That'd be fun to use. And then this one, which I believe is wrapping paper. Yeah. So that one, so that one's really fun too. And then I think this is wallpaper. I wasn't quite sure. I'm actually gonna open this one. I think it's a wallpaper. It's a pre-done. Oh, it's like a castle wall. I thought that's what it was because my husband is really into trains, so he would use some, I like guess his background. That's really neat. I like, I'll take that part off. You can have that. I like just that part. That would be fun. Maybe that is the cover, then the guards on the back of a journal. That'll be fun. So there's quite a bit of that. So that's a wallpaper. Oops, sorry about that. And this one, same thing. This one says a border. So it looks like it's different sizes. So let's open this and see. the border for that. Cut it and kind of maybe piece it together. Interesting. Pretty that is, that'll be cute as pocket. Okay, I 
think I'm gonna stop there for this video and I think we're gonna do a part two. So I'll see you guys back in a little bit.